Well, here's a float from one of my carbs on my XS650, and it's full of fuel. Um, it was flooding from time to time, and uh, I thought I'd get it off and have a look at it. And uh, it wasn't easy to, to find the fault at first, because there's not a lot of fuel in it, but this end is leaking and has uh, got a bit of fuel in it and if you shake it you can just about hear it and one way to get that out safely is to uh, use a, a soldering iron and just take away the solder just there where where the floats are sealed after they've been soldered so these are soft soldered together to form the cylinder and that last hole there is sealed um, and that um, just need to, to um, desolder that, the soldering iron. And once you're sure you've got a little hole there, you should be able to see a little bit of fluid come out if you put your finger on it or a bit of tissue or something. Then you want to heat it up from the back. Don't use a naked flame, obviously. What I've done is I've used soldering iron. And that should provide enough heat. But a hairdryer is just as good. And if you put that on the back, oh, look at that. Just put the heat near it and look at all the fuel pouring out. You can actually see that fuel pouring out there. So I'm going to tip that up a bit more, make sure it all comes out. And of course, when we've finished, we'll resolder it because what's happening is that it's expanding inside the cylinder. There it goes. Look at that, it's pouring out. There's loads in there. Wow. These quite often get damaged when you're handling them, when you're cleaning them. If you press them a little bit too hard, the floats can go concave and they pop somewhere. They're very thin and they do wear. <coughs> and uh, what happened on this one was the soldering uh, in the centre there that seals the cylinder actually popped and started to leak. Now I'll just keep doing that. Heating it up. You don't even need to put the soldering iron on the cylinder. It's just because it's close enough like that. And the hairdryer do the same thing until nothing more comes out. I'll turn it upside down. I think completely. Right, so let every little last bit come out, and then I'll put a bit of flux on there, and I'll resolder that with a bit of soft solder. And hopefully, that should be perfectly okay. So that might be of interest to someone that has a similar problem and finds one of their floats full of, full of fuel or water. There you go, still some coming up. Excellent.